If we're being honest, the 2022 season was all about the two-time F1 world champion Max Verstappen and Red Bull. In fact, the back-to-back -back wins and amazing overtakes left fans on the edge of their seats. But as the season comes to an end, there's some news for the F1 champion. It turns out that Verstappen is banned from trying the MotoGP bike by Red Bull. Stay tuned to find out everything you need to know. First off, all it took was a conversation between Verstappen and Marquez. Verstappen's definitely up for trying out the Moto MotoGP bike for the very first time. As for Red Bull, they're not that interested in letting him do that. Well, the F1 champion, who, by the way, completely took over the 2022 season, recently sat aboard Marc Marquez's Repsol Honda machine at the Japanese manufacturer's end-of-year celebration event. And let's just say, right after his very controversial 2021 win, Verstappen went on to win his second consecutive title by 146 points from Ferrari's Charles Leclerc. Not only that, but he also set a new record record for wins in a season with 15 victories. And while Red Bull's partnership with Honda definitely ended up with the most successful F1 season together, we can't really say the same for its MotoGP teams, because they finished the year without a single victory. On the other hand, let's talk about Marquez, who made a pretty impressive return to action right after electing to undergo a fourth right arm operation. And all of this happened to post the Italian Grand Prix at Bugello, where he claimed one pole position and finished in second place at Phillip Island. With that said, teaming up during a karting race at Honda's recent Thanks Day, which they won, Verstappen and Marquez sat down to talk about sports. And well, that was all they needed for the Dutchman to finally want to try a MotoGP bike for the very first time. Following up, Verstappen is banned from trying the MotoGP bike even if it's off-season. In a pretty general conversation about the MotoGP riders, Verstappen said, these guys are crazy. And if we're being honest, wouldn't you agree with them? Think about it. It, all that speed on the streets, combined with the horsepower on the bike. Needless to say, it's a pretty thrilling experience that not everyone can handle. As for Verstappen, he said he'd love to try it out one day after he was fascinated by the conversation with Marquez about it. On the other hand, he also revealed that Red Bull isn't really keen on the idea now, so he's not really allowed to do it. And that would make sense if it was during the season. But Marquez pointed out that since it's the off-season, the Dutchman has the time to try it out. In response, Verstappen joked, now I can break a leg. After all, that's all he can do. Sit on the bike and talk about it. But taking it out for a ride? Nope, that's not gonna happen. And if you're thinking the Formula One star might just have to try going slow, do you really think he'd be able to control his need for speed? Or any Formula One champion for that matter? In fact, he talked about it as well, saying, go slow? I know myself well. If I try, I will push. But the problem is if something goes wrong. On the other hand, he loves to sit back and watch the races on TV too. In fact, he loves how there are way too many manufacturers, and that makes it more exciting when you're figuring out who's going to win. Not to mention, F1 was pretty competitive last season. Talking about Red Bull, it'll be the first team among the favorites to challenge for the 2023 F1 title. But we still need to see what Honda can bring in terms of a competitive package for the likes of Joan Mir, Marquez, and Alex Rins. On the one hand, Marquez has proven that if he's even the closest to his actual best, then he can definitely go out and try and fight for race wins. On the other hand, Renz already won two of his last three races for Suzuki. While about seven riders claimed victories during the 2022 MotoGP Championship, there were at least five from Formula One. And with that, MotoGP recorded wins for five manufacturers compared to F1's three. But let's just say the most significant fact was that Verstappen won the Formula One Drivers' Championship with literally four races to spare. In fact, it was pretty much a done deal by the 13th race, the final even before the summer break. By that time, he had eight wins on the board with an 80-point advantage. As for MotoGP, it went down to the wire. Fabio Quartararo and Francesco Bagnaia were both in the running, with the Ducati rider taking his first title. In fact, he literally won seven races while Quartararo managed to grab three victories. And even though Formula One took steps this season to introduce cars that were going to create a tighter grid and more overtaking opportunities, let's just say that instead, it widened the gap between the top three and the chasing pack. Coming up, Verstappen needs to pay unprecedented amount for F1 Super License. Let's just say Verstappen now holds the record for the most expensive license. And while that might have already been shocking, it's also right after his record-breaking year in 2022. Right before each Formula One season, every team and driver needs to pay the entry fees. And the final standings of the season are used for this exact purpose. Every team and driver is going to have to pay the standard amount plus another 
better amount that's calculated by their world championship points scored. And not too long ago, we finally got to see the entry fee for all the F1 teams. As for Red Bull, the 2022 Constructors Champions, they've literally got the highest bill to pay up before the next season. As for the drivers, we're not so surprised that Verstappen's the one out of the lot to pay the heftiest price. Now, let's talk numbers. For the upcoming 2023 Formula One season, the drivers are going to have to pay a base fee of around $11,000. Along with that, they're also going to pay an additional $2,200 for every point they scored in the last season. See where we're going with this? Verstappen literally set record after record in the 2022 season. At one point, it felt like there was nothing stopping him. Among those records was one where he scored the most points as a single driver in a single season. How many, you ask? Well, 454 to be exact. Up next, here's how much the F1 drivers are going to pay up for the next season. So let's just do some quick math here to figure this out. With that record, he literally just set a new one for having the most expensive super license in Formula One. Multiply 454 with 2200 and add another $1,100, which is the standard amount anyway, and you're going to end up with just over $1 million. Believe it or not, Verstappen's about to pay this for the 2023 F1 season. Curious about how much the other drivers are going to pay for their super license in 2023? Well, here's a sneak peek for a few of them. Starting with Leclerc with 308 points, he's going to be paying $700,000, while Perez with 305 points is going to pay up $693,000. As for the Mercedes drivers, Russell with 275 points is going to pay $625,000, while the seven-time champion with 240 points is going to have to pay $547,000. Moving on, Horner managing brutal Verstappen after clash of opinions. While Verstappen grabbed the title two years in a row, it hasn't always been smooth and easy dealing with the F1 star. In fact, Red Bull team boss Christian Horner recently opened up on his working and personal relationship with the two-time champion, and it's safe to say that most of the time, Verstappen didn't really share the same opinion. On the other hand, the 49-year-old Horner enjoys a fruitful relationship with the Dutchman, especially over their last two successful seasons, which brought in two driver's titles and a constructor's championship crown. It's fair to say that with this much talent and success, you gotta figure out a way to make things work, even if there's a clash. Having said that, there have definitely been a few moments where Horner patience was tested. And let's not forget the Brazilian Grand Prix incident with Sergio Perez that sparked a lot of questions after the controversy made headlines. Needless to say, the Mexican was literally furious after the 25-year-old absolutely denied giving up the sixth place, even if that meant giving up his teammates' hopes of finishing second in this season's driver's standings. On top of that, when asked about what happened out there, Verstappen said that he had already told them last summer and that he had his reasons that he was going to stand by. In fact, he wasn't entertaining a lot of questions on the subject anyway. Finally, everyone has their eyes on Verstappen for the 2023 season. There's definitely some stubbornness that comes through the F1 driver every now and then, but as for the Red Bull team boss, he stressed the importance of having an honest and open conversation with the two-time world champion, and we think you'll agree that Verstappen is definitely pretty straightforward. In fact, Horner talks about how the F1 driver appreciated the honesty and absolute openness. Just hear one of his radio transmissions, and you'll see what he's talking about. Having said that, after two consecutive wins, everyone knows that Verstappen's on to grabbing the third title. Obviously, there's quite a lot of competition on the F1 grid, but how threatened is he anyway? It all started with his controversial 2021 win that many people still can't manage to accept, while his 2022 season was just him setting one record after another. Clearly, there's quite a lot of passion and talent here. So we guess we just gotta wait and see if this translates into another win for the two-time world champion in 2023, or if someone else might overtake him this time. That's a wrap for this video. What's your take about Max Verstappen being banned from trying out the MotoGP bike by Red Bull? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.